Hello, beer tubers. Welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Habits, again joined by Jakob the Dormot. Today, looking at a sour or a lambic from Driefontaine in Belgium, and a style of lambic you never see whatsoever. This is a Faro lambic. This is the Driefontaine Strafe Winter, and or yeah, I think that's how we pronounce it. Um, and the thing about this, it's it's a Faro lambic. And if you've never heard of Faro lambic, uh, or Faro. I think it's fucking. But yeah, uh, th that's a type of lambic, which is kind of different. It's uh, it's made with sugar, yeah. and it's they are really sweet, yeah. but they still have the tartness. Uh, it's kind of an almost dead style. You don't see it very often. No, I, the only Chardin makes it as well. Yeah, and uh, I know uh, Lind Lindemanns does one, but it's Lindemanns, so it's probably more sweet than it's supposed to. Yeah, well, but almost all Lindemanns are sweet. According to the rating sites, this is actually the best Ferrolambic you can get. I've only had other... Uh, I haven't had this before, or neither of us had, but I have had the uh, Lindemanns. I have had the Chardin. Okay, I've had the Lindemanns. It was... Champagne, but sugary, um, not sour per se. But it should be interesting because it's a style you don't see as often. Open, and it's open carefully. Yeah, and it's got much more alcohol than your average lambic. It's eight percent, and that's of course because of the addition of sugar. I'm pretty sure. Got it poured, as you can see. Jakob got a little more hit than mine. It but doesn't sound too carbonated, but I guess that might be because of the age and all. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of a fizzy, off whitish. Uh, well, uh, this well, is and a, it's this also is got all the bacteria. Yeah, this is a vigorous pour. Yeah, yes. very vigorous. <laughs> it was like, but um, super hazy orange. Yeah, kind of. I'm sure the sugar has given a lot of color to this beer, and you can kind of smell the tartness. Um, it's very hazy and orangey. Yeah, very murky. It doesn't look too nice. No. <laughs> Check out the aroma. Mm. Oh, you can smell it's been aged. Yeah. The tartness is very rounded off. And yeah. you definitely get the sugar. Yeah, kind of caramel yeah. sweetness. A sugary caramel sweetness. Oh, and but there's a very, the leaf months I've had smell what? There's a very distinct leathery kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leathery it funk. Well. It's yeah. definitely got some funk. Um, and what I like is that the leaf months I had just smelled like sugar and a little bit of champagne funky kind of. But this smells much more lambic like. Yeah. I'm getting like the greasy traditional. Uh, sour uh, apple vinegar or vinegar stuff, uh, the white grapes, uh, green apples, some kind of wheaty hay like notes. Back, got, backside of leather. Yeah, <laughs> well, as you say, it's very leathery. Yeah. It's probably most leathery lambic I've smelled. It's, yeah. And I don't know if that's because of the age, but it's quite funky. Yeah. I get a lot of funk and, and a lot of barnyard. But mostly leather, as you say. Do you want to give it a taste? It yeah. smells pretty good. It does. Cheers. Yes. Hmm, that's interesting. Wow, it's almost like wine. It's yeah. like a sweet white wine. Wow. It's really good. Um, not much carbonation. It's just no. slightly carbonated. Yeah. Which is odd for sour. I usually prefer my sours very carbonated. Dead but flat. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's dead flat. It does have a little carbonation. A lighter sort of medium mouthfeel, dry, sweet. And I like how it's not just sugary sweetness, but it has a lot. It has like it's funny because you never get that in lambics. It has like caramel. Yeah. It's like sugary and caramel. It's like su sweet toffee notes. Yeah. And then <clears throat> you get the tartness, which is like or sourness, which is like that tart vinegar, apple vinegar. Uh, white grapes, sour green apple kind of notes, a little yeah. bit of and you, apple you're skin. just left with that. Yeah, for the rest and then it. you get the funk as well, and definitely leather as you say. This is like the most leathery lambic I've had at least. It also has some oaky tannins, yeah. some woody oaky component. It, it tastes more like cork than, yeah. than actual uh, wood. But I definitely pick up on that too. No trace of 8% alcohol. And just a lambic at 8% from yeah. Belgium seems kind of crazy actually. And this one is really sessionable and really drinkable. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I wouldn't was. drink this in a hot summer day, but... Well, I don't know why that is It's a, a winter seasonal. Yeah. So. Um, but the sweet, sweetness really balances out the... At least at first, the... Um, the sourness. The sourness. Which works well. And it's not... Nearly, if you've had the Faro from Lindemanns, definitely check this out because if you thought it was too sweet, because this is a very nice balance between sourness and sweetness. And I'd say still it's the sourness on top. I don't know how it would be fresh though, but 
Um, there is still that underlying sweetness of like caramel and kind of almost brown sugary, kind of almost toffee like almost, which is kind of weird in a yeah. way, but it, it works. Yeah, so it right. works. Yeah. It's uh, but you need to kind of like think because yeah. that's not what you're used to in a lambic. Yeah, sugary exactly. Thing. And and the fun thing, if you feel your lips, you get that slightly sugary gloss. Yeah. Which is very very odd. So yeah, guys, this is a pretty good farolambic. You don't really find too many of them, but. Um, this is definitely the best one I've had <laughs> of the two <laughs> of the two or three. I think I had the Chardin too, maybe, but it's not as sweet. It's more like a goose with sugary and caramel flavors, and it works pretty well. But I prefer like a, a fruit lambic or a regular goose to this. But still, it's it's great stuff. So yeah, ninety for me. I mean, uh, Trifontaine does some very good stuff, and this is definitely one of them. So um, if you get the chance to check out the stuff in Minda, go for it. It's, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna go ninety as well. This is a Pretty good beer, and but as you said, I I do enjoy a more sour sour. Yeah, it is still sour, yeah, pretty but sour. Yeah. As a beginner, you could, but that might be the age and yeah, all. Yeah. But you know, so definitely um, check out the the Drifontaine Strafe Winter if you get the chance. This is good stuff. Um, not as good as some of the other releases they do, but definitely worth a go. So yeah, guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Drifontaine Drifontaine. Strafe Winter, if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And untapped. And we're going to say cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.